sexy witches. I know, I'm well aware that Halloween is still two weeks out, but I'm a basic witch when it comes to Halloween and uh, you can't, you can't tear me away from it. And it's especially fitting for today's video because we are talking the one, the only, Buff Bunny Mad Scientist Collection. I am so excited for this collection, I don't think you guys actually understand the extent of it. If you guys have been following me for a while and you keep up with my Instagram stories, you would know Halloween is just, it's something magical for me and I am obsessed. So when I saw Buff Bunny coming out with the Mad Scientist collection, it had my name written all over it. A huge thank you to Buff Bunny for sending these pieces out my way. I'm also very excited to announce that I officially have a support link with Buff Bunny. So I'll have every individual piece you see today linked down below along with my support link. So thank you so much if you choose to use it. So if you do support me, thank you so much. Always feel free to message me or let me know so I can personally thank you. Buff Bunny, mad scientist. It's Halloween meets science meets fitness. Okay, we have some spooky things to dip into now, so let's get serious. Here we go. Okay guys, so let's start with what I find to be one of the most eye-catching designs of them all for crying out loud. So we have the Evolve legging with the Evolve sports bra. This is in their Disturbia Reptilia print. So they got that reptile print coming at you nice and scaly. I have to say this purple color is so insanely gorgeous because it's such a rich, deep Halloween purple. <laughs> so these high-waisted leggings, I have to say, the second I put them on, I felt like they were a little bit on the thicky side, a little bit thick. I feel like they're slightly insulating, in fact, something you would want to wear on Halloween night when you're going trick-or-treating. <laughs> Seriously. I do feel like there's not a ton of stretch in them, so keep that in mind. The only real seam you have is around the band and down the glutes. There's no side seams, no crazy seams going everywhere. It is very super squat proof on me, I would imagine. I mean, look at that print. That alone is gonna block anything. Really great length. Again, just a little bit of a thicker material. Overall, a moderate compression, I would say you could totally stick to your true size. My true size small is perfect, but if you're in between sizes, I would probably suggest sizing up in these just because they don't have a ton of stretch. The Evolve sports bra is so flattering because I I just freaking love a high neck. <laughs> I think it's very sexy and sophisticated. The backing of the sports bra is where it's at though. It's looking like a dang pentagram up in here. You have the center emblem and a bunch of strappy action. It is not adjustable. You do have removable bra pads, but I do want to make mention this band down here does not have an elastic band, so you don't have that extra support. It's still a moderate type of support. I do feel like if you're in between sizes, definitely size up in the sports bra because I could feel a slight, slight little bit of tightness right around here. Nothing crazy, not enough for me to want to size up, but if you are in between sizes, I might. I might just suggest sizing up in this entire set. Okay guys, so this is where it gets tricky. This legging is the same legging that you just saw, the Evolve legging. You still have the Evolve sports bra, but this is in the Venom Nucleus print, which I, I just love it. But what's nuts is the fact that it fits me entirely different. So whereas the ones you just saw had a little slight bit of restriction, these are very stretchy. These leggings are ultra stretchy on me. <laughs> this is the print I would opt out for if you're looking for stretch. You want ultra movement, this might be the print for you. I wouldn't suggest sizing up or down. I think it's super true to size in this print. The Evolve leggings are super textured. You can feel it. They're not slippery. They don't have that shine to it. To me, they're very much matte and textured. And to match, I have the same exact Evolve sports bra as before. Again, this one fits a little bit better on me than the other one. This print, I'm definitely favoring, even though I really love that bright purple color, this Nucleus print just seems to fit me a little more relaxed in the places that I like it to feel relaxed. Okay guys, so I actually have two pairs of the Luna leggings. We have the Frankie color, which is almost a lime green, and you have the Onyx black. These right off the bat have more of that silky, slippery kind of feel. You can even see in certain lighting, they have a little bit of a shine to them, especially the black, I feel like you could really see that shine. But what's great is they're not slipping down. There's no gaping, nothing weird going on when I do squat in these. 
I definitely feel yogi style vibes going on here because the stretch is really insane and the softness is there. This legging comes equipped with two side pockets and a little hidden band pocket on the inside. The black leggings were completely squat proof on me. This, I believe this is the lightest legging that I have in this haul. It was about 95% squat proof I would give it. Not a full 100, but good enough. <laughs> So these are moderately compressive. And what I love about the Luna leggings is this is more of a solid piece that you can mix and match for my gals who maybe don't want any crazy prints. You do plan on going to the gym. You don't want to make a scene. You don't want eyeballs looking at you. That's fine. We got some solid colors. I really love the variety in this collection. We also have some solid crop top tanks launching. This is their Aurora V3 crop top in the Frankie color. So, okay, the thing that stood out to me, even though this is super straightforward, like super straightforward, same exact material as the leggings. The thing that I really find cool is the Buff Bunny logo. It's a 3D gripped B logo and it's pretty large actually. So I feel like it's, that's where your eye goes when you look at this. Very, very much wicking. This isn't a bra crop, so there's no built-in bra paddings or anything, no extra lining inside of it. It is pretty much what it is. It's a flat line piece. Okay, so we have the Loch Ness leggings and the Transcend Sports Bra in the color Onyx Black Multi. This was actually the first set that I saw them talk about. Right off the bat, first and foremost, the stretch, this is the stretchiest out of them all, without a doubt. There's Lycra in this fish. Very, very much wicking. It's stretchier than the Frankie legging that you just saw. I can't help but notice how unique this is. <laughs> it's a solid black legging with colorful seams. There's no other brand I've ever seen come out with anything like this or this collection in general, but dang, like this caught my eye when I first saw it. I know they have ones coming out with just plain white seams. That's cool and all, but the different colors is what caught my eye. I feel like this is something taboo right here. You're always trying to hide the seams, right? Everyone's trying to keep it on the low. But Buff Bunny went ahead and said, no, F that. I'm gonna go ahead and shove these seams in your face. But for this, it works. I'm not gonna lie, dude. <laughs> I'll emphasize them shiz. So yeah, you got that lime yellow, hot pink, but the sports bra's a little more unique because they added in a third color. You got this medium rich royal blue lining the bottom of the sports bra. So this is overall one of those shiny kinds of sets too, I would say. But it is fully squat proof on me. I also wanna make mention that with underwear, I didn't experience camel toe going on in these leggings. And I really appreciate the no front seam thing. I love that they evolved away from that <laughs> over time. The Transcend Sports Bra is something else though. If you check out that backing, there's so much going on. I don't even, I don't even know what I'm looking at right now. You got that giant, giant hole in the back, but you also have side strappy action. So it's a little bit sexy, spunky, a little sporty looking. You even have the removable bra pads in here. This piece lying down is not an elastic band. I always wanna make mention of that because some gals actually depend on having that extra thick elastic band underneath their toddies if they're blessed to have giant toddies, unlike myself. As far as sizing goes, I would say it's very true to size, but if you're in between sizes, probably size down. There's a ton, and I mean a ton, of stretch going on. How about these sexy hot mommies right here? We have the Rebel Shorts and the Aurora V2, not V3, V2 crop top, both in the leopard print. So we have a beautiful red and a beautiful black leopard print, both shiny and chic. So this is the V2 and this is the V3. What's the difference? V3 definitely has a lot more shine. You also have the print on here. I actually think I prefer the print a little bit more. What about you? These shorts are a little bit on the thin side, probably a lower to moderate type of compression. I did notice some roll up when I did some squat and jumping. So anything intense, you can expect a little bit of roll up. Overall, I do feel like they're very flattering on the tushy part. In fact, I think a lot of these leggings are. I think the seams are placed in just the right spots to emphasize the glutes and not shrink them down. They are a four inch inseam. So they're right in between. They're not booty shorts, they're not biker. They just got that little middle ground area going on. A little bit of stretch, nothing too insane. It's very, very comfortable. You can definitely squat and be ultra comfortable in these. Totally squat proof, definitely gym friendly. The fabric is meant to wick. You can feel that ultra wicking factor. And it's thin enough where I feel like it would still provide enough breathability for you. Okay, so they're rolling out with some bodysuits. 
<laughs> this is their sculpture body suit in white. They're also coming out with a black one and I really kind of wish I got that one too. <laughs> the bodysuit itself is nylon and spandex. There's a lot, a lot of stretch, but to me, it almost feels like it's made out of mesh. Like it's 100% mesh. <laughs> it's extremely breathable. It's unbelievable. So it's pretty much transparent. Like you can see right through it. The only thickness that you have on here is this carpet raised 3D skeleton design on the front. I didn't wear a bra with this, but luckily for me, this carpet kind of concealed my nips a bit. So keep that in mind. You might want to wear a bralette under this, a white one. You have a full zip that ends at the lower back. I think this would be really great as a Halloween costume, honestly. I wore these with tights and they look really stinking cute. If you got the black one with black tights, now that would look even better than my white one. It's a bikini style and there was no digging or anything weird. I just think it's a really cute, flattering, stretchy, comfortable bodysuit. These are very hard to find in the comfort department. For me, I feel like there's always a ride up involved right in the right where you don't want a ride up, but these were very, very comfortable. They're also releasing full length tank tops. This is the breeze tank top in onyx black. I definitely suggest wearing something under this tank top because there's a bunch of line breakup that you can see through, hence why it's breathable. I love the backing though. That's where it got me. You actually have a draped back keyhole design that twists at the lower back, it's really flattering to throw over a gym set because it's ultra breathability. But yeah, you should be good with your true size. It is very, very, very silky soft. It's one of the softest, silkiest soft tank tops I've ever felt in my life. Okay, last but not least, I don't know if I saved the best for last, but yeah, I think I saved the best for last. This moto jacket, this is badassness. October means staple black pieces, and that does in fact include a staple leather black jacket, thank you very much. What's super unique about this jacket is it's vegan leather, first and foremost. You also have a ton of mesh paneling throughout here, so it's extremely breathable, even as a leather jacket, because we all know leather is not breathable. The paneling runs all the way down the armpit, thank goodness, all the way down the arm. You also have panel breakup on the actual tops of the arm. My whole life, I struggled with finding a leather jacket that fit me right. They would either be cropped leather jackets, which hello, I can't really wear when it's cold out, or way too long where it's like, okay, what is this, the matrix? Like what's going on now? But this full length moto jacket was made for me, I believe. <laughs> That's just what I believe. I saw they're coming out with another version of this, more of a vampire style which I kind of wish I had that one too, but I wanted the classic moto jacket that could wear all year round. I just think it's a stunning piece. You have the zippered pockets and you also even have the raised Buff Bunny logo on the neck. It's a raised Buff Bunny logo in the leather. So no prints, nothing embroidered. It looks like it's just stamped into the jacket really casually. All right guys, so what are we thinking about the Buff Bunny Mad Scientist collection? I think that this is an extremely innovative type of collection I've never, personally, I've never seen before. It spoke to my soul. Really great job to Buff Bunny on this launch. Everything was very, very flattering, comfortable, and cute as hell. Thank you so much to Buff Bunny for also sending this out, and a huge thank you to you if you do shop through my link. I really appreciate it, and it helps to support this channel. If you do, please DM me. Like, I'm really mean it. I wanna have a conversation with you about it. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be having a lot more unreleased Buff Bunny videos to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll catch you in my next video.